Welcome to the 11th issue of the Horseman's Gazette, a quarterly video series that enables you to watch and learn from some of the most talented horsemen and women working with horses today. In this issue, we're very excited to present a segment in which Brian Newbert demonstrates how to safely catch and handle a baby colt still on his mother. We've had many requests for this information and are so pleased to bring it to you in this issue. Additionally, we have the fourth installment from Peter Campbell in his series of Working with a Filly who has had lots of time off between being handled. These segments are an opportunity to see how much a young horse can retain and progress when handled with quality. Wendy Murdoch gives instructions on how we can effectively get out of our horse's way to ride fluid circles and turns, essential maneuvers in any style of riding. Education is the main objective of this video series. Because we believe that it's the little things that make a big difference, a change in expression, the length of a pause, the smoothness of a transition. These video segments are edited as little as possible to give you the whole picture of how each horse and rider progress. So come along for the ride. You and your horse will be glad that you did. You never get a second chance at a first impression. Handling a young colt still on his mother can be nerve-wracking. Complicating the desire for your colt to have a good first impression is the very real fact that when handling babies, it's easy to get them into trouble and hurt, no matter how good your intentions. For many years, we've had people request an instructional DVD to address how to safely handle young horses before they've been weaned. In this segment, Brian and his wife, Patty, demonstrate how you can work together to safely catch a young colt for the first time and to expose him to some of the basic principles he'll need to have good experiences with humans for the rest of his life. A note of caution, though, as Brian mentions several times in this segment, take your time and use good judgment. In developing refined riding skills, we continually strive to develop our ability to do less and have it mean more to our horse. Intuitively, we know that our horse is capable of performing the light and fluid movements we so desire without us on his back. So if we could just get out of his way, we could be partners in a fantastic ride. Getting out of the way requires that we first understand how our horse moves and then how we can adjust our bodies so that we can guide our horse in the direction of our choosing without impeding his movement. Wendy instructs the rider through how to ride fluid circles and turns, making slight adjustments so that the rider can incorporate a new way of riding familiar movements. In part four of this series, Peter continues this filly's education, putting the saddle on, working with the flag, and continuing to develop a solid foundation for the rest of her life. Since the last installment of this series, this filly's been running out in the pasture with other horses and had not been handled. Peter continues to work from where this little filly is on this particular day and demonstrates how much ground can be gained when working with quality.